the, as we head into Labor Day weekend, so we don't forget it today, because we've forgotten it two days in a row, the much ballyhooed Tom Snyder, Bob Hope story. Take it away. This, this is going to be good. Well, the, as an entertainer, you want to uh, uh, entertain the whole world. And it was Christmas Eve, and I was going on The Tonight Show because I'd made friends with the talent coordinator, and he knew my routine where I had a little man living up inside my hat, and I would, and the poem was from the night before Christmas. Uh, and so I had little gadgets, and finally a saw comes out the top of the hat and saws down the side, and it breaks through the plumbing, and water comes out of the house, and he drives around and around the brim in a golf cart, and the wind flies up and he throws the... I'm trying to tell this poem. And he uh, and the phone rings. He throws the phone down out the window. He throws the curtains out the window. And uh, he flies the kite out the back. And smoke comes out the chimney. A lot of things are going on. I thought, this is going to be so charming. I'm going to be famous after this moment. And at this point in my life, I had to save up the money for the gas to get from the house down to NBC and back again. And I chuckled to myself, thinking of my poverty, knowing full well my wealth was in my talent and my future. And, uh, and so I trundled down there with the car, spending half of my money in gas. And, um, oh gosh, that night Bob Hope decides that, oh. he, that he wants to promote his book. And I get bumped. And I'm told early, Bob's coming in, it's not going to happen. Oh no, so now I'm wandering around early at NBC. Oh, Tom Snyder is having his Christmas party in the adjacent studio. And I'd watched him in his late night thing and I thought, well, you know what? I might be a good guest for him because I'm outrageous and edgy and that. And so I, I, I came in there and uh, people were all around him and um, I pushed my way in, I did. And uh, I finally said, uh, Tom, I think that I'm a comedian and I think that I'm the kind of guy that you'd want to have on your show. He says, you're interrupting me. This is my Christmas party and you're ruining it. And a lady came to my assistance, or you know, the vibe behind me, she says, oh, Tom. So I got the feeling he does this all the time, you know. But I thought, oh, God, I was just thrown out of the other studio and I was going to change America and, and enchant all the kids because Bob doesn't even read them books. Every time I've seen him go on there, uh, um, I forgot the name, uh, J Johnny, he would read a few excerpts or he'd have something ready. And, he, and Bob never knew it because he, he finds, oh, it's all in there. That's what he'd say. It's all in there. It's all in there. He just has to be Bob and have a golf club and show up and need some more money. And so he didn't care about it. And so I had to put my tail between my legs. Now the great thing, what do they say about um, revenge? Is it cold soup? It's sweet. No, they it's said... Best served it's cold. Yeah. 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 Sermon kicked him off of TV. He had a radio show out there in LA. And lo and behold, he calls my office. Tom Snyder. Well, the office, right, and yeah. wants me to be on his show. Oh, Tom, don't you remember how rude you were to Gallagher and kicked him out of the Christmas show when he had his elf hat on, was going to charm America? No. So he's going to apologize now on the air, right? So I went on with him anyway. Big, you know, I didn't care. You know. How did it go? It went fine. He's a good interviewer and yeah. and and all. But I did get my revenge. Did there. he apologize? No, he doesn't know anything. Maybe he can't remember anything when he's drunk. You know, whatever. <laughs> but shouldn't you be more uh, angry in that story at John? for letting Bob bump you off the show. Do you know the name of the studio where Johnny did The Tonight Show is the Bob Hope Studio? Well, which makes oh. it a little more difficult. Yeah. It does he make was... it very difficult when Bob wants to come in. But he Bob... Just, he says to his people, call them and tell them I want to pump the book tonight. So shouldn't you have been... Uh, ang there was more than just Bob Hope, though, that night. Why didn't they bump somebody else and let you go? Who, who was the second guy? 
I could have had you as a manager. Yeah, That's I couldn't have. Couldn't really have. good point. I just said, make. listen, Mr. De Cordova, you need yeah. to book this second guy, Gallagher and Bob. Well, oh, that, probably some mime. That mime yeah, it was probably that mime that Jerry Lewis always used. <laughs> Let me. I want to say though that Bob used me in two of his specials. No. Oh. Yeah. Oh, now do you have those on video? Uh, yeah. People want to see that. On two of his specials, I, I think know. his writers liked me. What did you do? I, I did uh, sledge uh in some unusual setting, probably in uh, maybe a, a western saloon or something. They loved to dress up. But the jokes were so corny, and I would say to the writers, "Oh no, we're not going to do this one," and they and they'd always say, "They'll be laughing in Poughkeepsie or, or in Kansas City, <laughs> or and they're crying they in Denver," and that's they what were. he'd say. They, he, he had no respect for the audience. But were you in a skit with Bob? He, uh, yeah. He, yeah. Okay. Yeah, what yeah. What did you do? I, I don't remember. Oh, he no. was the sheriff. Of the town. He was the sheriff, and Bob was. I don't know. Why we, maybe we can search it on the yeah. internet. I've never seen know. you with Bob Hope. That'd be interesting. That'd be kind of neat. Yeah. yeah. He, he liked me. Okay. Well, so you can't blame Bob for no, this. No, and I said it here Tom. for you because blame Tom. he died. He's up there. I'm he being died. fair. Yeah, Bob's up. He lived to be 100. He liked being up high. He had an eagle's nest house in uh, Palm Springs, up on Toluca. the mountain. Huh? Toluca Lake. No, that's no. Those are his first houses. I know about Bob. You work with him. But I know be from a real estate agent. You see, I I lived on the edge of town, and this is where Bob tried to have a um, real estate development by making a lake, and the lake sucked up all the money from selling. Because where I live was way out of town in the old days. It's called Agora, which is the Greek word for the marketplace. And um, after a while, L.A. moved out there, and it became a, a good thing. But Bob didn't uh, participate. He owned almost all of the property around there. And one time he was on The Tonight Show and he told about how he had traded property with the state and, and they got a great piece. I don't bet you that that was the way it went. <laughs> right behind my house, you could go for miles and miles on a motorcycle, off-roader, and, and there was no electricity or water or looking like it was ever going to have it. It's in between two counties. And Bob owned all of that. And the reason I knew about him was his lawyer kept trying to cheat me. Uh, get me involved in different, um, yeah, schemes and stuff. Oh, that's... He would introduce me to Japanese bankers for me to deposit my money there, <laughs> and, uh, and then and then we and then he'd say, "How come you didn't move your money?" And I was sure that he was going to get a loan of the amount. You know, he said to the banker, "If I get you the money and then you loan it, and you're getting the interest," and you know, I couldn't trust him. But his like a son, Ponzi scheme. His, this will be in the Inquirer. Yeah, week. yeah. Bob Hope used son, to put a Ponzi scheme Gallagher in well, the sure, supermarket. I'm you know, sure that flavor. this guy yeah. died, but his son will vouch for me. Now, his son did really good tile work, and that's how I met his father. Was that his son was doing my tile work at my house, and uh, he said my father used to uh, represent Bob Hope. So then he told me the story of Westlake Village. It's very well known. It's where North Ranch is and all the celebrities live back in there. And I've seen many of them all around in the grocery stores. So don't tell me. But that's a good tabloid story. And a kid that I know is an alcoholic. So he goes to AA meetings and all the musicians are there. He knows and, and this this kid. Musicians they're all, in AA, there's they're a all drunk. There. I'm they're telling all you, every all. time I need something, it's him. He knows. <laughs> he knows where they all are. Because he's had coffee with them down at the Liars in Club, the where they tell how little they've done oh. drugs. Come on. Why? Well, I've never been. Okay. I, I'll lie and you can lie. It's the same. That's, that's my. They, that's they my lie new, to each other. That's my new favorite Christmas story. What? The time that Tom Snyder scolded you. In his studio, it was just Kicked a lot you out of his party. Yeah, Here's the problem, know. and let's use this as a as a uh, learning thing here for everybody out there that's striving. I had the confidence to say, "I'm Gallagher, and I'm going to make some fun jokes and props and and routines." And this is, was a setback. 
and you know, but I can handle it, and I'm just going to go home, and it didn't happen. They should have at least reimbursed him for his gas, wouldn't you think? Oh, yeah, you think Johnny or uh, some boy here, Bob? You're right. right. I wouldn't need, no, you don't get paid on a bump. What bump, about bump, what about bump, Johnny, bump. Johnny or Bob Hope's Japanese yeah. lawyer? Wasn't he there passing out the yen? He he never paid for nothing. Was he, was he floating around back there? No. The Japanese lawyer that uh, Bob did, did Bob was used to a big Ponzi people. Did he he have did. a lot of people with him, Bob, or was he just by himself? I mean, uh, well, I only, I only saw him when we were in production, okay. so there was always production people. You were produ that, Did you even get on the stage and rehearse this thing? Yeah, I would hang oh, out with him all day. Oh, there you go. With the writers too, trying to get them to write, uh, to do good jokes or uh, a hip joke. Did, did Bob he overhear did. that? Yeah. Maybe he that's did. why he put your Japanese <laughs> man on you to take all your money. Mess with my jokes, will you? I have to tell the truth, even if it's to Bob Home. I said, this, this is corny. Come on, let's do better. What'd he say? <laughs> no. What was his line? What was Bob Hope's little... He always had a line. What was his line? Thanks for the No, 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 that was his song. <laughs> his, what was his line? Oh, I want to tell you. I want to tell you about this Japanese Ponzi scheme I really want to tell you. But I really want to tell you. It's really in there. It's in there. It's in there. But I really want to tell you. Like you're you're not going to get on the Tonight Show tonight. It's all in there. I really want to let you know. You're not getting on the Tonight Show tonight because I'm going out. Live from the Bob Hope Theater. Yeah, but the Tonight Show was a necessary bottleneck for a comedian to have a career. If you said to somebody, I'm a comedian, oh yeah, have you been on the Tonight Show? That's the whole thing. But Bob said he didn't care, right? No, he never cared. <laughs> he was this. He there. wants to sit oh. there and sell two or three more books or whatever that he didn't write. You know, over Christmas last year. <laughs> How do you know? Were you there when he wrote the books? Because he does. He's not familiar with the stories. Of course, he has a good writer. Life, isn't he's it? not doing any. I, he still ain't gonna do it. I bet you. <laughs> Sorry, I hung with him. I know. <laughs> he he hung with him. Him. Was not a writer. No, <laughs> Who was he it? wouldn't. Uh, girls, he would do. He would bother to do them on his own. Whoa! Oh, whoa, now whoa, you're getting tabloid. I am not. <laughs> he was married to uh, Dolores for a hundred years. And she was perched in the house all the way in Palm Springs. Never friend. saw a thing. Bob and the Japanese lawyer would go out to the Almost hotels. Like bang, you know, Phyllis Miller. Yeah, that's a that's a sad thing to learn. That what Bob do you mean a sad thing? That's who he played. This Bombi Ball raconteur. Raconteur, right? With uh, from the, uh, one part of the world to another. They were on the road. Him and Bing Crosby. But I didn't realize they were. You know. Well, why else? He was young, and he had the the lingo. He was using the lexicon of the time. That nose, and that, that was the lingo. He was it. Yeah, he was he was the top. Well, he always had those good-looking women in his movies, like Dorothy in the day. And the jokes were about sex. Dor as they could, as they could be. They're, it's all double on ton, right? And in you end up. That's when, right. I, see, I saw those road movies. I never the, like. Why Patty would you Jake? tell everybody you're so naive you didn't see the jokes in a Bob Hope movie? No, <laughs> I did see that. the jokes in the Bob Hope Next movie. Next time you want to talk, think. I'm just saying to you, I disagree <laughs> with what you're saying. I, no, that means you didn't notice it. Okay, what I'm else there. would the joke be about? I don't know. Comedy. There is no comedy outside of sex. Now that, now see, now that's not true. I, I want to be quoted as saying Is that what you want oh, to go yes. down as that? Record, record that. Record, record that. that. There that. is no comedy outside. <laughs> that's, that's, a that's a hashtag. That's a hashtag. Put that on yeah. Facebook. Yeah. 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 Well, let me tell you how it's divided. It's divided um, from the breast to the crotch to the butt. Whoa. These are the three areas. Is what is it a butt joke? Is it a boob joke? Is it a uh, crotch joke? These are the three areas. What do you want? A good laugh or not? And here it is, Labor Day. I'll tell you a really smart joke that's not sexual, okay? okay? Please do. Our vice president now claims not only to have invented the internet, he says that he invented the formulas that underlie the internet, and that's why they're called algorithms. Uh. <laughs> that's good. I know. But that wasn't about, like you said. I said. Not no. all jokes are about. Do you think the Bob Hope movies, do you see that in the Bob Hope? Have you seen a Bob Hope I've movie? I've seen a Bob Hope movie. Yeah, I, didn't, I never saw the underlying. He's always chasing some chick or well, he does like He does like that uh, growl. Well, know. it's more than Jerry Lewis. 
<laughs> what? what? No, wait, of what? that same time period, Jerry Lewis in scenes isn't going after the women. He's a butler, a bumbler, a no, no, in the, his a nutty professor. Nutty pro no, he went after the woman well, in that was professor, older. Uh, yeah, but uh, you know, he's not, Bob's not going to play an idiot. He's going to be no. the smartest oh, no. guy. He's right. Bob, Bob wouldn't do Jerry Lewis's work. No. Right. No, I, I was using that as an example, I but that that broad type of comedy. Bob is doing night. He's doing cocktail party. Is he? Yeah. But those specials. It's an area of gray. It's a spoon it's, fork. It's a sport. It's talking about sex without saying sex. Yeah, but the specials you did. Do you believe those corny jokes revolved around sex? my corny jokes and my specials? Not oh no, oh, oh, those. Bob oh, man. Man. Yes, they resolve. They did resolve around sex. Did they? Yeah, but they were horrible. <laughs> oh, sorry, I didn't realize all those Bob, Bob Hope 175 specials. <laughs> he always had a girl. Why would he have that Is dancer? You, you remember that dancer that uh, Tracy Tam? Tammy, Tam, Tammy something, uh, and he had missed some, some, he'd have a beauty queen, he'd have a hot dancing chick and a leotard, come on, well, that's a, in front of men, he that, was he the, was always, he's the comic at the strip joint, he was always that's showing what that he was playing. playing for. Well he was, but he was also had the All-American on, he had, uh, you know, his pals uh, like Jonathan Winters. Okay, if we couldn't find Bob late at night, do we think he was with a bunch of guys talking about being good patriots or over with the chick? Come I don't, I don't know on. where Bob was at night. <laughs> Ask Dolores. I think he was. On, I think he was on the Tonight Show. As from what I hear, on Christmas Eve he was doing the Tonight Show. Why would he go on on Christmas Eve? Yeah, that's a bad time slot. It is. He's not going to sell his books that night. No, they didn't. Well, why would that. Johnny Christmas work in Christmas Eve? Christmas sales well, trying to. Like what if it was a plan all along and yeah. he said uh, he, was out he to didn't get know? He was out to get America. It would have uh, <laughs> helped. It would have helped everyone. It was a charming routine that I had worked on for a long time in front of people. You can see it on YouTube now because I did it over at the midnight special. And so but there did, it but is. Did, but, but did he know he was bumping you? No, he's, so, okay. he's oblivious to everything. They have a studio <laughs> with his on. name on it down at NBC. So he, he had, a, thinks he runs a place. So he had no, he had no <laughs> intent. He had no intent. No, I was just chafing the wind. What is an insignificant thing? Oh, yeah, it's dust in the wind. Dust in the wind to Bob oh. Hope. When right. Bob came in, right. people had to bow down. That's right. Because he owned NBC. He Remember those NBC. radio people that were so powerful? That and uh, like yeah. Arthur Godfrey and, and and they all had tempers. So, what's the problem with me? Well, you fit right in. That's I what know. I'm saying. That's You're what right I'm there. Saying. I'm, I'm just. I still, I still can't believe that Tom Snyder. I don't like to see him do oh, that. Oh, Tom I'm just Snyder! Like, seeing, like when he yelled at Gallagher, said, "You ruined my." See, I just life. knew Tom. I knew Tom Snyder later. But in aren't his I? Life. Aren't I right? Wouldn't I have been a good guest on? You, Tom? you I agree that you should have been. Show, yeah. It should have been. Uh, I would tell him uh, this kind of a thing. I want to put a dam across the Bay of California and save all of the fresh water that falls as snow in the Rockies that we let go out into the salt water down there uh, because it's in Mexico but I want to make a new fertile plain down there and let the Mexicans grow the avocados and the almonds that we require and uh, that way the workers wouldn't have to come up uh, on our side of the border they say on their side of the wall and the drug dealers can be in charge of this because if they don't make more money than they could in drugs, then they won't do it. And we pay a lot for avocados and almonds, I'm just saying. I know that walk San Joaquin Valley. I think it's a great idea. And if you look at a map, you'll see that halfway down there's these islands. And so it's shallow. And I say make an earthen dam. That's what because of an earthquake. If you, if you stick to concrete, it could crack and the water get through. But if you make earthen dams, they can be flexible. And you just run some bulldozer out there and put it and run the dirt in the crack. They want to ask me. But uh, that fits Tom Snyder, that late at night spaceships kind of radio and being radical. That's also probably a good place to announce for president. No, on Tom Snyder's show? Or, or, yeah, or that guy with the suspenders. I think they're holding him up. Why is he doing... Larry King. Larry King. Right. Larry King. He's not working anymore. Do you think if Gallagher... No would wonder have he's he not a, getting back to me. Do you, 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 you think huh? he got a bunch of calls if he went on Tom Snyder about that? Oh, of I don't know. Yeah. Well, I have radical, but they're good ideas. Oh, yeah. I know I have the interface for how to play slot machines on, yes. uh, on oh, that's phones yeah. and iPads. Yeah. <laughs>
But I'm telling you, I'll be like that lady that just won four hundred million. She's asking everybody to do something on the internet, and then she'll send them some money. Uh, Is five, she? Yeah, yeah five hundred. Yeah. What was that? You have to. You have, you have to like her post, like the post, and then put oh, those wow. little bags of money in, in, in your um, forward. Uh, yeah, some, yeah, and put bags of money she's, in the answer. She's I, not I, sending any money. <laughs> ain't gonna happen. She's Why just not? trying to get those algorithms. She, she going. wants yeah. those things going. <laughs> That's what we care about now. Algorithms. <laughs> See, Bob Hope would never survive let, in this world. Let me world. guess. Before she won, she had no friends. Now she wins the lottery. She's got. 500,000 friends. You know what they're going to be. But I want to tell you, it's, it's the internet. He didn't know. Yeah. It was all, it's all, all in before there. him. It's all in there. It's all in there. <laughs> those books he never wrote or read. <laughs> <He> never, wrote <laughs> <them>. <laughs> never wrote them, never read them. <laughs> the ghostwriter. Ghost writer. Really a ghostwriter because he wasn't in the room. Do you think it's mentally abusive to take an average person and dump the responsibility of $400 million? On an average person, isn't this meaner? This woman. Then I mean, it, at the bottom, aren't we like vile? Uh, if you care about that banana peel story, and so oh, oh no, got wait. upset. Think of what happens when you give I somebody four hundred million, <laughs> and they can do th they can do things wrong and still be super, super rich. I'm, I'm glad you brought that up because last night we were going to do a, a story about this banana peel yeah. that Rush Limbaugh led with yesterday and we ended up not... Oh, the it's one a big one? The one the tree. It was a big one? The colleges said, yeah. were meeting and they were canceling. Yeah. It, it was, I tried to do the, the research on this to see if it was true or not and you could only find it on very right-leaning sites like the National Review and the Daily Mississippian. So I emailed the editor of the Daily Mississippian oh, today. Oh, that's oh, what yes. we do in Ohio. That's what we do. We, don't, right. we don't play around. That's right, baby. No. And you know what? I said, tell me about this story. And the guy would not respond. What? Yeah, he back story. down to it's you. So, mo yeah. Like, like <laughs> Billy Peck last that's night. He was so He wants to come on the radio, though. He'll tell you on the radio. Yeah, I'm the Bob <laughs> Hope for the New Days. Bump anybody right off the show. <laughs> So what was that? Go that wasn't gossip. It was uh, it was tabloid. 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 Tabloid means you wrote it. You, you intentionally it. made up a story. Made up. A why story. do you think that they would? I mean, for the ratings or I mean, why yes, people are crazy. Okay. Because people want to hurt other people, and they they know it's wrong. You know people like that, don't you? Raising up your hand because you can make someone hurt. Agreeing with the devil when he says, let's go berserk. You know what mama told you about the way the world work. You get back what you put out, you'll get your just dessert. Thou shalt not better ever never hurt. Thou shalt not, even though they shot you first. Thou shalt not, just put her in reverse. Take your finger off the trigger, put your knife back in your purse. Don't be the reason they're screaming for a doctor or a nurse. For someone, please call 911 for the police and a hearse. Thou shalt not, better ever, never hurt. If you gave it a thought, you'd have never fought. It only made things worse. Oh, that's pretty very good. Nice, yeah. Very nice, very nice. You know what depresses me about that? That would have that would have never made a hope special. It just no. would have never made. It. He just said that's too, com too, com bump. too complicated. I gotta tell you, Gallagher, that's too complicated. Yeah, that's deep. Back to the corn pop. I'm cutting edge. Yeah, you, I'm you, on yeah. the lip. You'd have to be on the Richard Pryor special. Yeah.